Welcome to Blind Bourbon and Whiskey Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new bourbons. We base our reviews off of a 25-point scale we developed and then multiply that by 4 to get up to 100. We start with 5 points for smell, then 10 points for taste, then 5 for the finish, and 5 points combined for the look of the bottle and the liquid inside. Now on to the review. She's just, excusing me of cheating right now. Just John Grumpy Face. I didn't look at the bottle. <sighs> you gave me an interesting one. Okay, well, we'll take it at that. I don't like when he guesses correctly. Yeah. Anyway. You could have just said I was wrong until the end of the video, though. You know, I can't keep it from you anymore. It's hard. There's not a lot of stuff in there he hasn't tried. She was pouring me a sample a couple days ago, and I guessed it just by the cork pop. Y'all really then, don't understand how hard this is. And then she poured me another one, and I smelled it, and I'm like, I don't do Maker's Mark. I know my bourbon. Anyway, on to the sample. It it's smells really decent. Pretty. It is pretty. I like the color. It smells very good. Uh, it smells potent. Very, very strong smelling. It has a, a smokiness to it. Okay. Smell it. It's like, I get smoke all the way through. The palate, oh. the snows, the palate. The snows. The snows. He just got out of work, guys. I promise. I haven't even drank yet. I don't want to say it's peat. But it no. doesn't have that. Pete just, I don't like it. It's I don't think weird it's Pete. Taste to it. I don't know. We're not Pete fans. I usually get caramel or butterscotch, sometimes toffee. I don't get that on this one. I get clear maple syrup. It has a slight mintiness to it, too. A very slight mintiness. It doesn't smell like a bourbon. Can tell so you that. kind of soft, you're like tip of the very, scale, soft or very predominant smells. No, it's not soft at all. It, it is very, very strong. It mm -hmm. is a very okay. strong smelling whiskey. That's weird. It's very enjoyable, but it's not great. It's not perfect. Okay. I gave it a 3.75. Fair. Yeah, it's really it's it's good. It smells odd to me, so I, I'd probably odd. give it right around there too. Three and a half, three and point seven five. It's very sweet and I do like sweet smelling mm -hmm. things. But this might be a little too sweet. That's why he married me. Thank you for your comments. I appreciate them. Now on the palate, the smokiness does come through. Um, still, maybe that slight peat taste. I don't know if I'm just confusing smokiness with peat. I think I know what you're confusing it with, but... The maple syrup definitely comes through, along with brown sugar and molasses, which actually, right when I taste it, of sweet. it gave it away. Um... Um, there is nothing in my cupboard that is like this That's whiskey. Like that. Yeah. It's pretty unique. It's definitely not a bourbon, I can tell you that. And it has some age to it. You can taste the wood. It's more of like a musty wood, though. It's not like that bourbon spice wood. What's up with you and musty wood? I don't know. What's up with you? This guy's over here licking musty wood to know what it tastes like. So, it tastes like, what are those cereal? It's like Honey Smacks, but like maple-y. Like Honey Smacks, but maple-y? But like sugarier. I don't know. It kind of tastes like Maple that. Cheerios? Didn't know that was a thing. That's it does taste insane. like Honey Smacks a little bit. You know, that greeny, very sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta eat them in 2.2 seconds or they get soggy and they're disgusting and you throw them away. Yep. That's exactly what you're talking about. So I'm going to give it a 
I it's very sweet, but overly sweet. Ooh. But pleasant. Hmm. So a good kind of sweet. Yeah. Okay. And there's a notification. Every time. It's because the White Sox are killing the Tigers right now. Yes. So the finish, that musty wood comes through, but it fades and it stays <laughs> sweet. I'm sorry. <laughs> What? That's just funny. The Why? musty wood. Don't you know what the smell? I know. Of wood I know. Like. We have hunting cabins. We have blinds. I'm I'm very acquired to musty wood. It's just funny. So the odd smokiness does stay through. Even and when I say finished? odd, it's not in a bad way. It's so much different than anything else that I drink. I'm actually really enjoying this. Mm -hmm. Shame we waited so long to try it. I know. <laughs> when I saw it at first, I was like, Canadian? Nah, I don't do that Canadian bullshit. Shh, you don't know. I do know. It's in my right. Yes. It's not his notes, guys. He already guessed what it is. Uh, so Unfortunately. I did say 6.5, right? Yes. Okay. And I was talking about the finish. I don't even remember where we are. So the finish is like, like medium to long, oh. and it's so sweet. I mean, it just, it's like eating cereal. I mean, Again with the that maple-y, the mouthfeel is somewhat thin, though. Are you talking about like French Toast Crunch? Yeah, that's what it was. I love French Toast Crunch. I forgot about that. It's I couldn't think favorite. of it. It's my favorite. You know, when your milk gets super sweet. Yeah, it's so good. So this kind of brings me back to like all them sweet sugary cereals. It's so they don't make anymore because kids are. No, they're, they're sugar. bringing them back, but mm, they're never as good. This is very earthy tasting too. Mmm, earthy, like musty wood. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> oh. I don't know. I'm enjoying it a lot better than last night. He's changing some scores, y'all. I gotta be as honest as I can. Well, that's what we're here for. So I gave it a 3.5 on the finish. Okay. And I am very, well, I am enjoying this. I'm not saying it tastes amazing or great or something that you want Every a day. stockpile of, but if you're having a sweet well, tooth, I think you'd have to stockpile. you know what this would be great in? Mm. Baked goods. What about bananas foster? Yeah. Or yeah. I like bourbon balls and stuff like that. This instead. I think it'd be great. I'm. We're gonna see here. John doesn't know. What? But I'm gonna make some old Dutch whiskey soon. Um, I'm really excited. But I'll do a video while I do it so that y'all can see it happening. And I'm gonna make bourbon balls for Christmas. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. Yeah, it's one of the most beautiful whiskeys I've ever looked at. If it was a shade darker, I would be mm, happy. It's dark. I don't dark, think it needs to. But it's got a lot of legs. It looks thin because it's beating up and it's running fast, but it, it the juice. You is can just, see though, like it's like syrup. Like if you swirl, like uh, it looks, what's it, it looks called? Thin to me though. It looks thin, but I. But like, it has I like a see that. like a darker tone of copper. Okay. So, I gave it a 2 out of 2.5 because of the legs are just not where I think they should be. Okay. A little watery looking. So, I changed the scores so I have to re-add up everything. You want to reveal it what it is because I know it's Pike Creek, but I do not know much about this one. I know it's aged in rum barrels, which gives it that sweetness. It's Pike Creek. So... John and I have been kind of waiting to pull the trigger on this one. This is John, Pike Creek. Um, I don't know why. It's just some of the weird stuff John and I kind of hesitate with just because we just don't know. And when we're going to drop 40 or $50 on a bottle, it's tough. But I think that this was a good choice. Um, I prefer Canadian whiskey. I like the Canadian stuff. Um, I wouldn't say you prefer it. Well, like yeah, it. I like it. Um, 
So I was kind of excited. And then this one is finished in rum barrels. So one thing I don't know about this is the proof. I guessed 80 to 90. It is 84. 84. Okay. Um, it says it has a 10 year age statement. Okay. That's where I get the wood from. Uh-huh. It says Pike Creek is aged in oak casks in a non-climate controlled warehouse, exposing it to Canada's, Canada's, Where's that? Canada's severe temperature swings. This creates an incredibly smooth yet complex whiskey, which is then finished in rum barrels to bring out notes of molasses and vanilla. Good call okay. on the molasses. I didn't get really the vanilla, but I got the brown sugar and molasses and maple. Uh-huh. So you're on the, the right track. Um, Vanilla's just that note that I, I don't like. I feel like everyone just says it. Yeah, just because it's a bourbon characteristic. I guess I can see like vanilla extract. I mean, in the aftertaste, I still taste it. Um, I'm really excited because I have a birthday coming up. And someone knows where a Basil Hayden's Caribbean rum cast finish is. Uh, He's going to buy it for me. I don't think that one can compare to this one well i guess we'll have to buy it and try oh, it oh man so i'm really excited to just trying the different stuff um i've had a few rums that were aged in like uh whiskey barrels and just like different stuff i'm not a huge rum fan i don't mind dark rum but <sighs> it gets, it's too sweet it gives you it gets rot. yeah so that's the tough part of it this so it is by far the best Canadian whiskey I've ever had. Oh. I will say that. There you go. Top chart for John. I think it is very good. They Whatever they're doing, they're doing it well. Um, I don't know I don't know much about this. I, I don't thought either. you would know we'll more about this. We'll take a break in a second and we'll research it. Um, Didn't it have like twine on it? No. Oh. The rye does. Are there a normal one or something? One of them has one. it like wrapped around. Let me um, see the bottle. I want to read it. Okay. So I love the name. I love creek and water related stuff. You can't see in like the intros and leaderboards and stuff. I always have our creek in it. We pay a lot of money to camp on a creek with no electric or water. I really like this bottle. It's just, you it's see unique. it, it's unique. I like, I mean, I like that they have the label on there, but they also have that on there, like Pike Creek on it as well. So I'm gonna give it a two point two five. Okay. All right, we're gonna take a break a minute, and I'm gonna try and learn me some something about this bottle. We'll be back. All right. So total score. I give it an eighteen. Seventy two. Is that right? Three point seven five. John can't math. Would have been an optimal time to do this in the break, but... He just wants to keep telling you guys he doesn't know how to math. So, 72. Uh, everything I see says it's one of the best Canadian whiskeys out there. A lot of people say that. Hmm. A couple facts about them. They used to age in port, and they got harder and harder to do, so they went to rum, which is why you get the molasses and maple mm -hmm. and all that, because rum that is made out of stuff. sugar cane. Yeah. So it is from Windsor, Ontario. So it was like the warmer part of Canada or Canada. Um, it's distilled by Haram Walker, which is owned by Corby. Um, I just think it's cool. This kind of reminds me of Ocean. A lot of people are so intent on keeping it so perfect and the perfect temperature. And you know what? That makes great whiskey. Don't get me wrong. But I think stuff like this, where it's exposed to different temperatures and climate, that puts a whole new profile on it. And I am I think it gives it a lot better I flavor. I want to try the rye now. Oh, well. This is That'll the first the finished one. whiskey that I actually enjoy. So that's interesting, because John's pretty picky. Yeah. I don't like Canadian, doesn't like I don't Canadian. like lower proof, <laughs> and I actually really enjoy this. Even though the score is only 72. That's pretty high. What really brought it down? Taste a little bit. I mean, everything just got a couple knocks, because I, I love bourbon, and I love it neat. And mm -hmm. 
It's just not bourbon, but it's very enjoyable. It's not exactly what you're looking for. I think if this was 100 proof, Ooh. you'd probably enjoy it a lot better. Maybe. But... It is a little too sweet, though. Yeah. It is sweet, which I think throws it off, even though you do like sweet stuff, so... I don't know, but that's very interesting. I'm happy that we found a Canadian one that he likes, so yeah. then we'll have to pick Kinda up the surprised. rye and see what he can do with the rye. But it's a 72. There you go. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.